Hey everyone, so I have the first example of real change and it comes from an email set for paper. A right circular cone of depth 40 cm and radius 10 cm is held with a vertex downwards. Basically, I have a circular cone and a vertex that's pointing downwards. Because it's a right circular cone, it means that from the vertex to the tip of the cone, it's a right angle and this is the center. I have radius 10 cm and then depth of 4 cm, so I have height of 4 cm. It contains water, we leaks out through a hole at a rate of 8 cm cubed per second. So what I do is, when I see 8 cm cubed per second, I immediately write down the question in between the lines of the question, dv dt, and do this. It's going to annotate your questions, especially when it comes to the very long type of questions, especially in your calculus. Find the rate at which the water level is decreasing. So find the rate of the water level. So let's say we give the height of the water level as t, as h. So we need to find dh dt. When the radius of the surface of water is 4 cm. So let's say we can choose another variable now. So when x equals to 4. Okay. So let's go through the top process before we tackle the question. We want to find dh dt. What must we do first? Okay. So find dh dt. We have, we need to find what? dv dt. We also need to find dv dh or dh dv. We, any one of them, right? So do we have this? Yeah, we know that this is minus 8. So at the end, we have to find this. So this is what we need to find. So now we have to find this. How? So we have to craft an equation. Craft an equation of v and h. Okay, so I think this is the right roadmap. So first thing first, find the equation of v and h. Going back to this diagram, all right. First, we to define our variables. So let v, h, and x be the volume of the cone, be the volume height of the cone when the radius, so just copy down whatever the question, the phrases in the question, when the radius of the surface of the water. So this one way to write it. The water is x cm. So you actually do have to write the word in x cm, so this is how I kind of uh, improvise respectively. Okay, this was important, unless you want to rewrite both sentences again, which is a pain. Okay, so basically what this means is that this is x and then the corresponding height will be h. So we have v equals to volume of the cone, which is, so we need to use volume of cone, 1 third pi r square h. All right, 1 third pi r, which is your x square h. And then just like if you're using h here, h. What is the problem? We want to craft an equation of v and h. But we have x now. What do we do? Because we have x, our step will be find an expression of x and h. How? Very simple. Similar triangles, right? If we look at these triangles here, we have Okay, and then, okay, let's use the same pen. Let's just assume we're in exam conditions. So initially at the top, sorry, initially at the top, we have 10, the height 40. At the end, when the surface of the water is x, the height is h, correct? So 40 from top to bottom, h from here to here. 10 and stop the x is here, this is pretty clear. By similar triangles, right? So you have the same side, because we're the same hypotenuse, we're on the same two sides as well, right? Side, side, side. Therefore, similar triangles. In fact, this angle help, this triangle helps a lot as well. Therefore, we have 40 over 10 equals to h over x. Therefore, x equals to h over 4. All right. So now we can express x in terms of h. 
we will then have 1 over 3 pi h cubed over 16 x square being h square over 16 therefore we get back this you want to simplify this even further you get pi h cubed over 48 we now need to find dvdh therefore we have dvdh equals to pi h square over 16 all right bring out the power to the front so 3 times 1 third equals to 1 reduce the power by 1 2 constants remain as constant so now we have it dvdh we also now have dvdt so we can now find dvdt right one step away okay so we want to find the rate of the water level at x equals to 4 where the radius equals where radius of the surface of the water equals to 4 so when x equals to 4 h equals to 16 right but here 4x equals to h so when x equals to 4 when x equals to 4 h equals to 16 dv dh equals to 16 pi correct finally we are able to solve the question dh dt what i do first start with the top variable dh dv times dv dt we then have 1 over 16 pi because dh dv equals to 1 over dv dh times dv dt we know it to be 8 negative 8 sorry so minus 8 therefore we have minus 1 over 2 pi cm per second okay per second but what is the question one the what is the rate of the what rate at which the water level is decreasing because we are wanting to find a decrease in the water level we can then omit the negative sign so therefore the rate at which the water level is decreasing is simply 1 over 2 pi okay water level miss out the word level so pardon me for that level is decreasing is 1 over 2 pi cm per second we don't include the negative sign right because it's quite weird to say that oh i decrease by negative 2 that doesn't make any mathematical sense so when we talk about the rate at which the water level is already decreasing it's a absolute value 1 over 2 pi of course if i change the question to so i say, say decreasing what find the rate at which the water level changes okay changes and because change is uh, pos possibly positive or is a negative change therefore if the water just changes you have to include the negative sign so this concludes the first rate of change question where we involve similar triangles especially in terms of cone and also give us a taste of what rate of change connected rate of change looks like